Hey guys, Chip here. Today I want to talk about something different than Blender. And what I want to talk about is the concept of using reference images for design. Most every talented designer that I know, uh, and I've worked with quite a few over the years, always has a library of reference images that they use to not only inspire, but a lot of times they'll just rip off details directly off an image. And for the most part, professionals do this all the time. In fact, Apple's pretty famous for ripping off Dieter Rams, not only design details, but also his overall design philosophy. They understand that there's a lot of creativity and that everything, everything in design is derivative. There's nothing that's not derivative. So the question then becomes, how do you collect a bunch of reference images? And I find that Pinterest has been the best way for me. And I've got, you know, I, I've got tons of, of different catalogs here in Pinterest that I use. Sci-fi pattern corridor, some of the stuff that I've done, ghost in the shell stuff. I'm, you know, just got a, a lot of different pin boards that I've created over the years. And one thing I want to mention is one of the shortcomings of Pinterest is that they store such low resolution images that it makes it very difficult. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we were going to do some concept work on robots. And so I'm going to go over here in Google search and I'll do art station robots. And I'll come down here and I'll look at this. And this is a kind of a nice little sketch. I can't really see too well uh, what's going on, but I'm going to go ahead and use my little Pinterest extension in Chrome and I'm going to save this to the robots collection. And then if I go back here and look at my Pinterest, I'll see I have robots that I can click on here and I may have to refresh this to see what I just saved and there it is. And if I click on this, you'll see that it's not very big and not very visible, right? So I can click this expand button and it hasn't gotten much bigger. Now I can, if I want to click here and say download image and it will download and you can view it in its original size, which is nice, but it does take a while. And especially if what you're trying to do is create a mood board using something like Pure Ref, which is here. I highly recommend you check that out. And Pure Ref is just a blank slate where you can copy and paste images. I've got one set up here. So the fastest way I have found to collect these images is to right click on them and say, open image in new tab. And here's our image, right? And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to say copy image and I'll go over to pure ref and I'll paste. And there it is. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Actually, let's just shrink it down a little bit, something like this. Now I'll go back here and see over here it says 564. Pinterest creates thumbnails at 564 pixels wide. And that's what we're seeing here. If I change that to originals, the word originals, I'm going to get the, the original image and I can right click on it and say, then copy image. We're back in pure ref. I'm going to paste and I'm going to scale this down and let's put this one at the same size. So these are, these are basically the same size now, but as I zoom in, you're going to see that there's quite a bit difference in terms of, quality of resolution. For a long time, I thought a major flaw in Pinterest was the inability to actually see images at their originally captured resolution. But using this simple hack allows you to quickly assemble a group of images in a pure ref kind of mood board for you to study later. So let's talk a little more about just the whole process. So we'll just go back into here and let's just, you know, we're going to scroll around and find more more images that we think we might be interested in. Another set similar to that one. And we'll just hit save to robots and keep on going and save that to robots. These are interesting little silhouette type sketches. And as I'm doing this, as I click on something like this, you'll notice that it'll tell me this, the resolution, the original resolution of the image as I roll over it. And so I may find something that's really too small to work with like this one right here is 639 and it might be it's not not bad it's nice it's a nice silhouette uh, but I might want something a little higher res that's 570 that's pretty small let's keep scrolling down here's kind of a Gundam concept it's 1920 let's just go ahead and save that too okay now we'll go back into Pinterest back into our robots collection we'll refresh it and we've got a few more and so the workflow is just basically the same. We'll just click on here and then we'll right click and say open image in new tab. And here it is the 564x and type in originals and hit return. Right click copy image go over to pure ref and paste and scale. So 
that's one we don't want. So you start start to see how we can start to quickly create a mood board here of reference images that we're interested in using perhaps to inspire us as we begin to create our own designs. So I hope this helps and we'll see you online.